Hit iron everything later. We're going to check out this Dick Sporting Goods. We're going fishing. I'm going to see if we can get something out of this dental office. All right, so we got these teeth. We're going to use them to approximate the effect of biting onto a lead weight for the fishing line. Where's the fishing stuff? Over there? Okay. Oh my God. Stanley Cups. All right, first thing we need is a hat. Next thing we need is a pole. Let's find some weights. Here we go. See how far Dick Sporting Goods has come in terms of lead safety. These are split shots, but you bite onto the line typically. But these, if you look, are tin. Let's look at some of the other kinds of metals that are on here. Steel or steel here. Tin, tin, tin. We say unleaded. Tungsten right here. Lead free. Okay, so I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed because there's no lead in these. But we'll find lead somewhere else. So let's go. Worst case scenario, we're going to break open one of those Stanley's. I was looking for some lead fishing weights, but you guys don't seem to have them. Oh, yeah? Oh, I'm back at it. Oh, okay. But no split shot, because that would be dangerous. All right, well, I have these teeth, so let's put them to good use. There he goes. He's a crazy one. As you can see, the teeth did bite into them. Let's see if they glow. That's definitely real lead. Okay, so if just biting down on them once clearly gives you some lead on your teeth. And look, on this one too. Let's see if I got any on my hand from touching the lead. There you go. So luckily, the split shot apparently is lead free, but it's still not safe to touch lead metal. Let's get out of here. All right, see you next time.